Hi guys, I got two of these Silvercrest electric salt and pepper mills. I bought them at the Lidl, uh, Lidl, <laughs> I don't know the correct pronouncement of that name. Um, and they are great, <laughs> and I know that because I already own two of these. Uh, and I got these two for somebody else. Um, they come with six AAA batteries, uh, which are in this package. Um, I've already installed them in this one. And the batteries actually actually uh, last quite a long time, which is great. Um, but I think they can last even longer by changing this incandescent light over here for an LED. There it is. So that's what I will be doing in this video. And actually, why would they put an incandescent light in these? What What's the thought about that? An LED should be cheaper, right, nowadays? So, let's see. Pull this off, and the light is over here. And the power pins for the LED, uh, for the light, are over here. Um, so, and I've already measured it, uh, and of course uh, just 9 volts comes out of these pins. Go directly to these contacts, down all the way to the light. So this little light runs at 9 volts. And it's actually nice because I can just plug it out, pull it out, and then replace it for another light. In, in the case this is broken of course. But in this case I'm going to change it for an LED. So just straighten those leads and see if I can get the light out. There it is. Tiny incandescent light. And yeah, I don't know exactly how much current this draws, but it's way, way much more than one of these LEDs does. Uh, so I've got two um, white ones and two warm white ones, and I just mixed them up, so <laughs> I will have to check that. And I don't know, what, what should I put a warm white like this uh, in there, or should I put the cold white in there? And I th think the cold white just... It's a little bit brighter, warm white. Oh. Yeah, the cold white is actually, I think, is it's better for this application. Although I would prefer warm white, but I think I'll go with the cold white ones. So let's see if I can just stick one up here. Uh, Two tiny holes. Of course. That should do the trick, right. Just pull it a little down. A little more. That would be great, I think. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, fold the leads over, like uh, the incandescent one had. And yeah, probably shorten them a little bit. The other one should be short enough. So, there we go. Um, I didn't actually really check the polarity, I uh, don't care actually. Uh, if it's the wrong, wrong way around, I just shove it the other way around in this thing. So, just put it in here. See if it still fits. Yes, it does. So. That's fitted with the LED, um, but when I, if I put it back in there right now, the LED will blow. Uh, so I will need a resistor, and since there is no space left here for a resistor or there, I can, I'll have to put the resistor in there. Um, so let's do that. Let's 
six batteries, makes nine volt and two tiny screws. Screwdriver. Box. Um, that I should mess that up probably. So let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to set solder on there. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see if I can put something under there to keep this in place. That will have to do. Um, and let's see, the resistor, a calculator, and over there, a, it's a 9 volt application, and I want the LEDs to run at the full 20 milliamps, so 9 volts divided by 20 milliamps, that's incorrect actually, uh, I want the resistor to drop 6 volts, because they need to run at 3 volts, so 6 volts divided by 20 milliamps, That was 200 milliamps actually. 6 volt divided by 20 milliamps is 300 ohms. So I need a resistor of 300 ohms. Um, yeah, that does not exist, or maybe it does in China. Uh, but I don't have a 300 ohm resistor in stock. So uh, I can choose would I go for the 270 ohm one or would I go for the 330 ohm one? Um, when I choose the 270 ohm one, the LED will probably be pushed a little too much and uh, when I choose the 330 one, it will light a little less bright, a little dimmer. But it will last longer and of course consume a less power. So I think I'll go for the 330 ohm resistors. Um, I'll have to get two of these. and. Actually, see if I can get it loose. There we go. <coughs> and let me see two resistors of three hundred and thirty. One moment. Two of these. Right. Uh, yes, just needs to be tucked in between there. So shorten this a little. Put a little solder on it. this box uh, would the resistor be in the way of something and actually these pins need to go through these holes it's all creasy the first gear. Uh, I think I'll bend the resistor a little bit like that. Would that be the other way around? No, this is the correct position I guess. Uh, 
so yeah <coughs> that would be enough let's get it out of the way put the screw back in See if it still works. Yes, it does. And let's see what the LED does. There we go. So, that's one upgraded unit with a modest amount of light. So, these, these batteries will last longer now and probably the output of light will be much better. So, um, I will do the other one of course, but uh, not another time in this video. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.